What's going on, everybody? This is Peter Renner, writer over at uh, comicbookinvest.com, as well as a couple of shows I do over on the Tales from the Flipside YouTube channel. And this is my first installment of something I'm calling my back issue backlog. Now, I've been thinking of uh, some micro content that I wanted to put out for a while now, and uh, I've fallen way behind on a lot of my reading. So I'm going to try to start catching up, and I figured why not do a couple uh, quick short videos and uh, record it while I do that. Uh, I came up with this idea after doing Three Comic Monty with uh, Bob Sally last week, and uh, I'd gotten Broken Gargoyles in, and I hadn't had a chance to read it. He asked, he's like, oh, let me know how it is after you read it. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to let everybody know what I think about it after I read it. So I'm just going to do a very quick review of uh, this first issue, and then uh, we'll take it from there, see how this goes. Uh, so again, first issue that I'm going to be doing is uh, Broken Gargoyles. This is from Source Point Press. Uh, this first issue really does a good job, in my opinion, of uh, starting to world build. Like, I'm really interested in this kind of like a, almost like a Mad Max Fury Road taste to it. There's a little bit of Carnival uh, in there when they hit up a, a, you know, maybe a little running carnival with the, the freak show kind of thing. And uh, there's a lot of different characters introduced here, and you get a good sense of uh, all of them. And uh, Bob had something, said something very interesting when he was talking about this series when we did Monty, and he was uh, talking about using Breaking Bad as an inspiration. And after hearing him say that and then reading the issue, I can see what he meant in the sense that not all of these characters are all 100% good, 100% bad. It's like everybody has a bit of both in them. You don't know exactly where they're coming from, and everybody's kind of out to do what's best for them. And whether that is what we all might call quote-unquote good or quote-unquote evil uh, is remains to be seen. You know, that's up to you as the reader to kind of decide. And it's kind of cool to see how uh, these characters interact with, one each other, well, you know, with each other. I'm very interested to see where this story goes. It ends on a fun little cliffhanger there. And like I said, it's got a great little setup. I, I like this whole uh, diesel punk you know, atmosphere going on here. I know it might not be for everybody. Uh, I had to look up what diesel punk was when we were discussing it because I didn't know the difference between diesel punk and steampunk. And from what I gather, steampunk is more like a Victorian era, where uh, diesel punk is more like a like a war era, I mean, like a World War II kind of vibe. So you get that here uh, with the gas mask and uh, the whole situation of the setup of this story. Again, it is, a, a, like I said, I think it's a good introduction, a good first issue. I can't wait to get the next one, and uh, I recommend checking it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a star system with these books or uh, or not going forward, but if I did, I guess I'd give it four whatever's I'm going to decide is going to be my thing to do. So four out of five, uh, it, it's a great first issue. I only give it four out of five because I kind of want to reserve a five for uh, for something special, you know, it's something that I, I need to have that, you know, that ceiling a little higher right now. So for now, I got to give it four because I don't know where the ceiling is going to go. Uh, but the art, again, is fantastic. The writing, spot on. Uh, check it out. Pick it up if you can. I know it was hard for me to track one of these down, so it might be hard for you. So uh, again, Broken Gargoyles, simple, simple terms. I give it a thumbs up. Chef recommends. Oh, the Clams Casino. Get out of here. Chef recommends.